Tiffany Hanyard. She basically got boxed out in a pol- politricking. Isn't that what she's always calling it? She got politricked by Napoleon Harris. He's the state senator. And he's he basically put himself on, on in the Democratic Party. They got together. They had a caucus. And Tiff Tiff just, she biffed it. She tried to bring a couple hundred people of her followers. And um, we're going to get into it. But what we're going to start off with, I'm going to start off with an overview video. And then we're going to watch actually the caucus itself. They haven't had one of these for sometime between 20 and 30 years. I mean, just some wild, wild stuff. I think Bert Odelson is behind. I think he is... I think he is the puppet master. He is pulling all the strings and he is doing a great job. And I think the folks in Thornton, with the exception of Tiff Tiff's followers, I think they are pumped and I am pumped for them as a result. So yeah, you're one step closer, but you know, this is a sad, sad day because we are one step closer to having Tiff Tiff um, no longer with us. And that's, that is, that's going to be sad. I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss all the ridiculousness that she has brought to the table. But for the folks in uh township of Thornton, I know they're, they're like, uh, can't wait to get her out fast enough. If that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and watch this video. This is your overview video. And then we're going to go on to watch in the actual caucus itself. And then we're going to run a bunch of videos that have clips that have some good stuff. This is some wild, wild stuff. This is like, I don't know. It, <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. Supervisor Tiffany Henyard may lose her job because of some political maneuvering. A Democratic caucus last night resulted in someone else being named the party's nominee. Eric is in the newsroom with more. Eric? Well, good morning. The Democratic Party decided to hold a caucus instead of a primary for Thornton Township Supervisor the first time in decades. And Henyard and her slate of candidates lost that nomination. She's already saying the process was unfair. The meeting and caucus didn't take long last night to overwhelmingly nominate State Senator Napoleon Harris and his slate of candidates for Thornton Township Supervisor. Current Supervisor Tiffany Henyard, who is under fire and under investigation for her use of taxpayer money to fund trips and fancy dinners, called the process unfair and is protesting her loss. Oh, you ain't not the people they are. She left after losing the nomination, but her supporters did speak with WGN. This is the biggest. This is the biggest. This is a fraud. Henyard and her allies say her supporters weren't let into the building. This is criminal. I would easily say hundreds of people that were not allowed in to to be a part of the process. It was State Senator Harris's decision and his decision alone as the Democratic committeeman to choose between a caucus and a primary. Harris dismissed Henyard's complaints about the process. People were getting let in at the proper time. We had a caucus. We had a caucus and the people voted for us later candidates to, to represent them. Now, the election is in April. Henyard could still be a candidate, but she'd have to be a write-in candidate. She is also calling for an investigation of last night's caucus. We are live in the newsroom. I'm Eric. All right. So there's your there's your overview. Um, so kind of just this weird deal where they decided to go with caucus. But I really, really believe that Bert Odelson has been running this show now probably for months. Uh, he comes across as, well, you know, kind of the down-home attorney, the guy that you want to listen to. I love listening to him on WGN, their radio segment. Love listening to him. And when I saw him, we're going to see clips of him, and it is it is clear that he is giving direction, and I think he is the one that has been saying, hey, we need uh, Chris Gonzalez. Don't go to this township meeting. Don't go here. Don't go here. Here's what you're going to do. And because all of this has been done so efficiently that there's got to be an attorney behind it. And that's Bert Odelson, right? All right. So here is, this is Dalton Trustees. This is their live feed from last night. Other people I checked out were, of course, Nate the Lawyer, um, Black Conservative Perspective, 
and Hannibal is hungry. I watched all of their analysis on this because those guys have just a better handle on on uh, this storyline. But here is the actual feed from the Dalton uh, trustees, and he's got an angle. He, he's doing it on cell phone. It's a little herky jerky, but he's got an angle, and that is um, that everybody was working with last night. So let's watch this segment here. <laughs> That's call to order right there. Nate Harris, Bert Odelson. And if you think he looks like an NFL player, he was for seven years. Vikings, Raiders, and Chiefs. He's got a business degree from Northwestern. You know, might not be a bad candidate, right? He can't be any worse than Tiff Tiff. I think he'll be, I think he'll do a great job. So we're going to watch the pledge because the camera kind of turns. So it's in a gym with a capacity of like 600. And Tiff Tiff's followers say, hey, there's 200 of us outside that weren't able to participate in the process. And she's probably going to sue based on that. But you can see the gym is packed, 600 person capacity. And I second them. On the table, who brings up to say, I? The rules are done. Next order of business is your appointment. Why is we? Next order of business is the appointment. We say I'm a point. And let's enjoy this. Yeah, so why is there no audio? Excellent, excellent question. <laughs> there's there's no mic. You got 600 people in a gym and you got no mic. I mean, it just seems like every single one of these, they don't have audio like you'd find at a normal meeting, a normal council meeting. I don't know what the deal is there, but there's no mic. So somebody yells out and he's like, uh, you know, he just keeps talking because you got no audio. So it's hard to hear, but you can kind of get the understanding of what's going on. You shall appoint the lesson judge the next outburst will be removed from the caucus. The election judges are as follows. Kobe Chapman, Jason House, and Chief Judge Keanu Gillen. The parliamentary for this evening is none other than Burke Olson. And our secretary is Casey Nevin. We have our Sergeant of Arms, Evel Bowman, and Assistant Sergeant of Arms, Paris Seal. Next, I'm going to open the floor. All right. When he says you've not been recognized because Tiff Tiff walked into the gym and she is now standing in front of him. These guys are looking at Tiff Tiff, who is off to the left over here. So have a seat, have a seat. Why Washington has been recognized? All the people are outside. How'd you start a meeting with us like people? All our people are outside. How are you starting a meeting? <laughs> with everybody outside. I mean, she's got a point, but here's the deal. They were half an hour late to the meeting. They started this meeting on time, knowing darn well Tiffany Harris, she hasn't been to one meeting on time since I've been doing this storyline. So they know, hey, uh, um, Napoleon Harris, he basically told all his people, be there early. So did Tiff Tiff, but Tiff Tiff wasn't there on time. So they start the meeting. All her people are just, you know, monkeying around outside. I mean, the whole thing is just, it's comical, but it's not. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh. Y'all didn't let the people 
them start coming into 6 30. Y'all got to let the people be here. This is not right. Y'all. So there's argument that Napoleon Harris let his folks in, that they were already in there for, you know, quite a while before this meeting and that they were doing a fundraiser. And then people said they weren't doing a fundraiser. I'm not sure on the mechanics of that, but you know what? This is politics. You got to play hardball. And I think Bert Odelson made all this happen. And here you go, right? She's holding t shirts. Let them in, Napoleon. You started the meeting. You started the meeting on time. Gosh darn you. I'm going to say, now, the Napoleon Harris said, come on, now, you know it's not right now, you can't even have it. It's all to help, mercy, and the high definition, 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 the high what she is doing is stalling the meeting for the mechanics of the meeting to wait until she gets her people into the building now she's brought multiple of the vans from town from uh, village of dalton and she's brought in probably a couple hundred of her senior citizens and they are not they're not getting into this building quickly they are not a very mobile group so she is basically running interference trying to get the meeting slowed down so her people can participate and i i don't think that's necessarily uh, you know doesn't have to be part of the protocol i think uh, napoleon harris he's he's running his caucus and i believe he's running it according to bert odelson and as far as I can tell, it was illegal. Yeah, maybe a maybe a, a a little bit of politics in there. But hey, you know what? <laughs> uh oh, step back. <laughs> Tiffany Harris is absolutely losing her mind because she knows this is it. This is it. She didn't write in as an independent for this balloting process. So she's got to get on the Democrat ticket, right? And she's not gonna. And so that's why she is just flipping out at this point. And she's just saying stuff. And all the crowd is... She's out of here. She's out of here. She's out of here. She's out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's out of here. She's out of here. I believe they ran a motion basically saying, you're out of here. You're gone. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't Yeah, she's voted out. She's out. She's a rat. It's a rat. It's a rat. It's a rat. Get out. Bye bye, Tiff. Security, get out of here. Bye bye, Tiff. Tiff. <laughs> she cannot run. Meet the lawyer. Hello. Uh, 
what I would love, and maybe Nate the lawyer, you can answer this. What was the actual uh, voting process like? Is this just a straight up nomination? Um, or do they actually vote? Because I know they took IDs at the uh, at the entrance and security, so they had to be uh, members of the Democratic Party, and they had to be within the township of Thornton. But what was the actual voting like? How did they determine that? I mean, did they you know put something in a machine? Did they? I, I don't know. That's the part that I'm still trying to work through because I'm trying to learn all this. No, this is crazy. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for you. It's a recap. Voice vote. Okay, so voice vote per Nate the lawyer. If you haven't checked out his stuff, you need to. That guy's got uh, he's got some great insight. Um, it's a voice vote. So if Tiff Tiff got her two hundred people in, does that mean she'd have you know more to escalate her the, the volume on her vote? Maybe, maybe. But if you ain't there, you're not going to be able to vote. So daylight dollar short, right? Read that volume. For supervisor Napoleon Harris. Here it is. Somebody, somebody else said she didn't have an assessor, and that was required. She didn't have an assessor on her paperwork submitted. That's another detail, right? Thanks for all the details, folks. And that one, um, yep, Deborah. Yeah. See, there's your guy. There's your guy. Boom. Get her out of here. This, we're coming up on my favorite part. We're coming up on my favorite part. So, rap. She's gonna tell her story, but hey, they're singing. Na 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 na. You got one long support. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that is some wild stuff. Hey. Political hostile takeover. <laughs> All right. These were the t shirts that uh, Tiffany Henyard was holding, and then she handed them off to somebody. Team Tiff, Team Tiff, hashtag Team Tiff. All right. So, rest of the video is um, just kind of walking around talking to folks. We are going to go. To, we're going to start banging down some of these uh, some of these storylines. Let's start off with Nate Rogers. Now, Nate Rogers uh, from Fox 32, he had an interview earlier in the day. We're going to start off with this piece right here. That attended to, you got to keep in mind, there is not... Ran my name through the mud and did everything. But guess what? As you pull the third on me, I must grow from it. And I will grow from it because I didn't went through it, but now I'm going to grow from it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Schneider. I'm Don Hasbrook. Let's get right into it. The biggest challenge yet for Tiffany Henyard in Thornton Township. Nate Rogers spoke with Henyard one-on-one -on -one ahead of a contentious candidate meeting tonight. Nate. I'm watching watching your guys' comments. Tiff Tiff says that she's going to sue everyone. Yeah, she she literally said, I'll see you in court. <laughs> to Napoleon Harris, I'll see you in court. It's like, what are you going to sue on? They went through the process. You had an attorney right there. And I'm pretty sure Bert didn't allow things just to go wildly sideways. So what are you going to sue for? It wasn't fair. Life isn't fair. Put on a helmet, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely, guys. Certainly a lot of chaos at tonight's forum, as well as blurred lines and really misunderstandings from residents that attend tonight. So you got to keep in mind, there has not been a candidate's forum here in 20 years, a, a Democratic caucus we're talking about. Folks had showed up hoping to name their candidate to be slated for the ballot next year. However, we're told that Senator Napoleon Harris, who is now running for supervisor of Thornton Township, he allowed his folks to go in first. Wild. What was the process supposed to be? The process was following. It, it came out the way. Here you go. This is smooth. Started. More than 200 people outside waiting to enter Homewood Flossmoor's Park District. But the people who were attending the party are the ones who was in there voting. That's unfair to the, us residents standing out here in the cold. Inside the auditorium. What's a judge going to say? What do you think a judge will say? Because that's all that really matters, right? Get one judge. Oh, yeah, it's not fair. Another judge. I ah, don't care. She's terrible. It was already packed with Senator Napoleon Harris supporters who had been allowed to enter beforehand. My mm. heart, no other candidates were eligible. What does that mean? What happened? This is funny. Well, they didn't submit the uh, required paperwork. Then they have a full slate and uh, they were being ineligible to run. They didn't, meaning who? Whoever they is. Harris is talking about current township <laughs> supervisor <laughs> Tiffany Hinyard, who expected to be added to the slate as well. Napoleon! Can you imagine being Tiffany Henyard, your small, diminutive little chick? She's got a crowd of 600 people surrounding her, and she's got like one or two supporters in there. The rest are all because they took forever to get there. I mean, you say whatever you want about Tiffany Henyard. She's got some big you-know-what. I mean, yeah, kahunas, right? Yeah. <laughs> We spoke to Hinyard in an exclusive interview hours earlier. Tonight's caucus, led by Senator Harris, was to name candidates for supervisor, clerk, trustee, assessor, and highway commissioner. I think it's fair to the public to um, allow the committee man to host that caucus, whereas he wants to run in. I think it should have been left to the voters like it always has been. Hinyard calling tonight's power move illegal. Guys, have a good night. Eat food and be merry. Eat some food and be merry. All right, I can do that. Napoleon Harris, the <laughs> has them stalling because he is in bed with them. He's their puppet master. He's telling them, don't go to board meetings. Wait on assurance. As many questions. Okay, but it wasn't Napoleon doing that. It was Bert Odelson telling Napoleon to tell the supervisors to do that. That's my opinion. Maybe I'm wildly off there, but in watching body language here at this meeting, I would say no. And look at what the outcome was. Look at what the end results were. It wasn't a meeting that drug out forever. It wasn't one of these just bastardized events that you're left with. What? What just happened? Oh, nothing. No, everything was just boom, 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 boom. And Tiff Tiff didn't like it about the township's future. Cheers from Harris's supporters and outrage from Henyard's supporters. I think it's absolutely absurd that you have all these people out here. You have the seniors out here. Voter suppressing. Absolutely. Stand on, your Stand on your record what you're going to do for the people, what you've already done, and let the people elect you. You can't do stuff like this. Mm. Again, today's caucus lasted less than five minutes with State Senator Napoleon Harris announcing his own name as the Democratic candidate for Thornton Township Supervisor. We did reach out to Supervisor Tiffany Hinyard after tonight's forum. She told me, Nate, I will see Harris in court. There's a laser. There you go. Yep. Somebody says um, it's 250 grand at stake. Fortune. Yeah, absolutely. She is. She just lost her job. She's no longer up for election. And the deal was, is that the position, it was Frank Zuccarelli, I believe, uh, going off memory there. He, did he die in office, I think? She took over his position, right? She was nominated by Chris Gonzalez, of all people. <laughs> I think you might regret that. Yeah, she was an up-and-coming politician, and she just went haywire when she got into these positions of power. And so they've been battling her all along. But yeah, it's a job. It's her main source of income 
250K. Now, she's got another one at uh, Village of Dalton as the mayor, but I think she only makes what? Uh, does she make 40 grand there? But her boyfriend makes another 100K. Um, some violence mm, program. Not really sure. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. All right. So that was Nate Rogers. Okay. Let's move on to this one here. This is WGN, I believe. Ray and Micah, we were promised a raucous caucus, and indeed, that is what we witnessed. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard, who was appointed to that position tonight, lost her bid for the Democratic Party's nomination in this rarely used political process. It now appears if she wants to run for supervisor again, it will have to be as a write-in candidate. That was wild. That is the sound of an auditorium full of Tiffany Henyard opponents rejecting her nomination for Thornton Township Supervisor in the party's first township caucus in decades. Anyway, that could be what we are. As she protested the process, arguing her supporters were still waiting to be let inside. Guys, have a good night. Eat the food and be merry. <laughs> It lasted only moments, but it was strategized beforehand. State Senator. It was actually about seven minutes is what I heard Regina Waldrop say, uh, state. And I, I think uh, in looking at the timeline on that first video, the second video that we watched, that is correct. So seven minutes for this process to be over. Another thought, can Tiff Tiff, because it's a voice vote, can Tiff Tiff state, hey, if my people are in there, might have been a, you know, a different outcome. Maybe. But the the way that vote went down, I mean, it was pretty wildly overwhelming. Tiffany Henyard was not going to get on this ballot, right? Napoleon Harris is the Democratic committeeman for Thornton Township. He alone decides whether to hold a primary election or a caucus. Amid the turmoil tied to embattled Supervisor Henyard, Harris chose a caucus and won the nomination. Democratic nominee for Supervisor is Napoleon Harris. Henyard walked. So, so Tiffany Henyard is the supervisor of the trustees. Napoleon Harris, who just got the nomination, he is the committeeman, I believe they call it. So he has the ability to state, hey, it's either going to be a caucus or it's going to be a primary. And I think based on Bert Odelson's analysis, they said, hey, let's do a caucus, which is not has not been done recently in Thornton, but is my understanding that it's done all the time in in Chicago, in some of these suburbs, in some of these villages. So this is not an out of the ordinary deal, but it was a political power move on Napoleon Harris's end that ended very favorably for his side, right? And for Tiff Tiff, you're out of here. Goodbye. Na 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 na. Wild. And into a waiting SUV without speaking to us. But here's what she said before the caucus began. They can't beat me. If they could beat me, they would have went to the polls. What do you do tonight if you don't get the Democratic Party's nomination? Jenna Barnes. What do you mean? I will be victorious tonight. You will see. My people are here. They're not going to go nowhere. The show will go on. Her allies. Well, it's it's going to go on, but not the way that Tiffany Henyard thinks it's going to go on. It's going to go on without her, or else she drags, she she drags this bad boy into the court system. Now, one of my thoughts is um, she doesn't have the resources to fight this. She doesn't have the resources to fight this. This is a loser for her as far as the lawsuit goes. She's not going to win. She's not going to win. So how, you know, you want to spend a couple hundred grand that she doesn't have fighting this bad boy in court? You know what I mean? Somebody's footing the bills. Somebody's footing the bills. And uh, these attorneys don't work for free. I don't know if you know this, Nate the lawyer. <laughs> no, attorneys got to make their money as well, right? But um, they charge by the hour and they are not cheap because they are, you know, dispensing legal advice. So how many lawsuits is Tiffany Herod involved in right now? You know, literally it's dozens, dozens. We've watched her so many times where she is basically, uh, you know, accepted <laughs> subpoena after subpoena after subpoena. Figuring out their next steps. This is the biggest. This is the biggest. This is a fraud. To fight the result. This is criminal. I would easily say hundreds of people that were not allowed in 
to, to be a part of the process. And we did hear quite a few complaints tonight that Henyard opponents were allowed inside before her supporters. We know there was an event going on before the caucus began. Napoleon Harris's attorney told me that was a Democratic Party fundraiser, although Harris him- himself said it was not a fundraiser. So that's something that will certainly be examined in the coming days. I am told, though, that those people who were let in had their IDs checked to make sure that they were registered Democratic voters. There you go. Live in Thornton Township. We're live in Homewood tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Jenna Barnes is Jenna Barnes has done some uh she's had a lot of really good segments. Let's go to Regina Waldrop. Let's see what she's got to say. I love these the personalities that are that are chasing this story. Where's Dane Placco in all this? Where is he? Tonight, a ballot battle happening in Thornton Township, where opponents are trying to, n- to knock Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard off the ballot for the April election. Now, Henyard is also the mayor of Dalton, but her ca- path to keep her second job just got more difficult. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop was at the meeting in Homewood and tells us why Henyard won't be on the Democratic ticket for her supervisor re-election. Seven minutes. That's all it took for Tiffany to be out as the Democratic nominee for Thornton Township Supervisor. And she left here visibly upset. Illegal meeting. A crushing blow. Illegal meeting. Well, was it? I don't think it was. I'm you know, following the, the, the chat here. I don't think it 49 lawsuits as of yesterday. Good Lord. There is no way she's going to be able to fund all this. I mean, she's just, just not. Um, wow, 49 lawsuits. Absolutely mind-blowing. So you've got this, if you're Tiffany Henry, you've got this pressure because you're t- continually telling people, hey, yeah, the show must go on, but somebody's got to fund it, right? What do you want to bet she declares bankruptcy, you know, depending on what the FBI comes up with? Because this is all... All being done as an FBI investigation is coming through. And also, Lori Lightfoot, former mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, her findings will be, I believe, presented in January. So you've got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. And without that income stream, Les Tiff Tiff gets an OnlyFans account. I don't know how she's going to pay for all this. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was saying um, that um, her boyfriend's going to leave her. I mean, you mean her married boyfriend? He's still married to somebody else, right? I think so. And are they going to take away the Tahoe? Probably, because that's what she left in, right? Oh, for Tiffany Henyard. Hundreds of people waited outside and dozens more inside an auditorium in Homewood as the results were announced. Illinois State Senator Napoleon Harris will be the Democratic nominee for Thornton Township Supervisor in the April election. We had a caucus and the people voted for us to lay the candidates to, to represent them at the April 1st consolidated. Henyard was in the room as the announcement came in. She called the vote unfair and illegal before leaving. All the people outside. They let no, one person. It's one thing to win. Here's the thing. Show up two hours early. Then you got nothing to complain about. Your voice is heard. But Tiffany Henyard doesn't do that. None of her folks... They just don't understand that concept. You got to be there. You got to, you know, be there to play. Uh, But let's do it properly and let the people really have a voice. The people's voice was taken today. Henyard's allies also raised questions about why so many people were not let into the building. They say she may seek to be a write-in candidate. They wouldn't let none of the people in. This is absurd and something needs to be done about it. Uh, This this is criminal. The process was followed and it, it came out the way it was supposed to. (laughs) <laughs> and he was kind of laughing. I mean, you could see he's got this smirk on his face when he's saying that, right? And um, yeah, somebody said, what was the comment in here? Shady, yes. Illegal, no. From digital debacle. Absolutely agreed. Shady? Mm, y- y- politically driven. Let's go with that word. Politically driven. But illegal? It doesn't sound like it. And with an attorney right there? I, I don't think so. But, you know, we'll, we'll just see what Tiff Tiff's got. The Republican nominee for supervisor, other positions that will be in the April ballot, township clerk, township assessor, highway commissioner and four trustees. And again, Tiffany Hanyard's camp saying what happened here, not fair. And they say their next step, legal action. Reporting from Homewood, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Regina, thank you.
I don't see I don't see that as a huge reality. I just don't. But you know, whatever. Um, is she going to throw that out there? Maybe. Yeah. Let's um let's go with Jermont Terry, CBS News, Chicago. Well, Tiffany Hanyard likes to tell people, "quote Let me educate you on how this works." Well, tonight you can say she was schooled on how the Democratic Caucus works right here in Thornton Township. You can also say that she flunked out because her name is not appearing on the ballot. Folks lined up early and in the cold for the Thornton Township Democratic Caucus. Everyone outside and those inside the auditorium were here to vote on who will be the Democratic nominees in the township, including the coveted supervisor position. And Tuesday night's caucus left the current supervisor, Tiffany Hinyard, fuming. We have learned out of this the right way. Illegal. <laughs> That's Hinyard pleading her case to committee man, state senator Napoleon Harris. As a committee man, Harris set the rules Tuesday night, the first caucus in Thornton Township. In that's another thing. He gets to set the rules. And that's why she was so upset that this court is driving me crazy. That's why she was so upset that he chose a caucus uh, and went down this road. But you know what? It's his game to play. And he played the game. And I believe he played it very well. Will there be fireworks? There's already fireworks. I mean, I would say that, um, yeah, she'll launch a lawsuit, but, it, you know, like so much of what she does, it doesn't really go anywhere. It just costs her a bunch of money. And, um, you know, moving forward, who knows? 30 years. The person who says this seems to be outdated, you say what to that? People. In Thorn Township, maybe new to caucuses uh, because they haven't had them in a while. But this has been a tradition for many other townships around the state. And those in this room came out to see if Hingard would get the nomination, an uphill battle for the controversy surrounding her administration. Hingard was not in favor. Chris Gonzalez. I will be suing everybody tomorrow. This is illegal. This is illegal in your favor. Illegal. Lady. Okay. So let's talk about it. I mean, your concern is you brought people in to three bus. All the people outside. And then not one person is here. Henyard used Thornton Township buses to transport supporters, mostly seniors. Yet many of the supporters did not get inside the packed auditorium of 600 people. This is a process that's been going on way before me. And uh, it's just I'm exercising my rights as the committee men to hold a caucus. And it is legal. When it was all said and done, the caucus. Boy, you think those cops are relieved it went the way it did? Yeah. Although with, you know, a whole bunch of senior citizens, what are they going to do? Are they going to chase somebody around with the cane, with the walker? Probably not. But, you know, with the fireworks that have happened at so many of these meetings, I could see something going really wildly sideways. But tonight, that meeting last night, that went the way it should have, right? Voted and Hingard did not get the nomination. Yet listen to who the caucus placed on the ballot. The Democratic slate that would represent Thorn Township at the April 1st consolidated election reads as follows. For Supervisor Napoleon Harris. Himself. Henyard left emotional and upset knowing her name will not appear on the April ballot to the pleasure of many in the room. <laughs> they were pumped, as they should be. It's very unfair that I don't get a chance to make the decision of who I want where. And who that you want to vote for. Sentence. I wanted to vote for Tiffany. She came late, and then she had an attitude because they couldn't get in. Can you only become a writing? That, that's about as an accurate portrayal as anything here, right? She came late, and then she had an attitude, and she's basically saying, I'm going to sue. Well, what are you going to sue based on there, Tiff Tiff? Because it doesn't look like you got a lot of options. You're going to have to consult with your attorney. And candidates. Which our supporters say. There's the SUV. Is that a Tahoe? People know her name to write her name in, and I believe we could still win it. What? Mm. Mm, Keith Price, no. Tonight's caucus was essentially the primary election, and other townships held their caucuses as well on this Tuesday. Now, since she did not win the nomination, Hingard cannot run as an independent. So her only option at this hour is a write-in candidate. Reporting live in Homewood tonight, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS News, Chicago. Joe and Erica? A wild night, Jermont. Thank you for... Always good clips from Jermont Terry. I, I think he's got a fair... Uh, he's got a fair voice. Um, so what to take from there? Um, I was going to say something. 
Yeah, we've got, we've we've still got more meetings to go. So, what is Tiffany Henyard? What is her? What what is she going to try and accomplish? What is she going to try and get done? Or does she just go absolute scorched earth policy? Because she's 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 done. She's basically out of her her big money earning potential. And then she's left with the mayor of Dalton. And I do not believe she will get reelected from uh, in Dalton. I do not see that happening. And so what Tiffany Hendred has basically always stated is that, uh, you know, she's going to win. She's got all these folks. She's got all these voters behind her. And it's actually just a small contingent of hand-picked folks that, you know, are ardent supporters, and then a bunch of senior citizens that she gives free stuff to. And so, you know, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna be pumped about the person and you're gonna support the person that gives you the free stuff, right? But unfortunately, the taxpayers in Township of Thornton and Village of Dalton, they see differently than, hey, we're not getting free stuff, we're paying for the free stuff, Not good. All right. Here's uh, this is Fox 32. This is uh, Nate Rogers again and kind of working through that interview. He had an some were saying that the reason that Tiff Tiff was late to this caucus here is because Nate Rogers was interviewing her. Mm, Okay, Uh, probably not. Right. But who knows? I mean, can't you just see Tiffany Hendred overscheduling everything and uh, just running into meetings late and just not being there? Let's watch this one. As we've reported, controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard also serves as the Thornton Township Supervisor. But in the spring, voters will have the chance to elect someone new or give her another term. Tonight, in an exclusive one-on-one interview, our Nate Rogers gets her side. He joins us live with her message. Nate. Yeah, absolutely, Scott and Don. Good evening to the both of you. We spoke exclusively to Supervisor Tiffany Hinyard about an hour or so ago. She spoke about those trustees continuing to boycott her meetings. She also talked about funds that she believes that taxpayers here are owed. But in terms of tonight's caucus, she calls the process unfair. Us here at Thornton Township, we always had a primary. Always. We never not had a primary. Where? 10,000 residents come out and express who they want in just two hours, Thornton Township residents will get to slate their candidate for supervisor, clerk, highway commissioner, and four trustee seats. Democratic committeeman Senator Napoleon Harris is hosting the caucus. Harris is also expected to throw his own name in the hat for supervisor. Tiffany Henyard has been supervisor in Thornton Township for two years. She's been criticized for lack of transparency on spending. Monthly meetings have also been stalled as Henyard and the board continue to back over a vacant trustee seat. Hinyard says she will indeed attend tonight's caucus to win support from residents. Yeah. Can I ask you a real question? Sure. Is it really worth it? In terms of just every... We've talked about this. This is her stylist back there. This guy is making sure that he's got picture with camera crew right over here with Tiffany Henyard there. This is where a lot of that money is going to guys like this who just charge a lot of money to make her look good on the Instagram. But, you know, her folks don't really care because they're all on uh, Facebook. So, you know, it's just this is where a lot of money is going to a dude like that. That is basically just making sure that her image is good because none of what she says or does is good. So there's that, right? Everything that you've gone through. I want to show the youth of today and tomorrow what it looks like to come out of controversy. Yes, y'all didn't ran my name through the mud and did everything. But guess what? As you pull the third on me, I must grow from it. And I will grow from it because I didn't went through it, but now I'm going to grow from it. <laughs> That interview isn't going to age well. It's already <laughs> pretty antiquated, right? Of course, we reached out to Senator Napoleon Harris's representatives for comment on tonight's story. We have not yet heard back. Fox 32 will indeed attend both caucuses tonight. There's one caucus for the Republican ticket, a second caucus for the Democratic ticket. And our 9 o'clock newscast will be sure to bring you more information on our exclusive interview with Supervisor Tiffany Hanger. As the ladies here in South Holland, Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Looking forward to that. Meanwhile, yeah. Just some wild stuff. Former Fox and Friends weekend. 
So yeah, big special meeting tonight, right? I think it's a special meeting. Um, what's that going to look like? I mean, what is she? Uh, is that a Dalton moving, or is I think that's a Dalton meeting, isn't it? There's been so many meetings, and I haven't really paid attention to so many of these meetings because you don't know if you know the trustees are going to show up. You don't know if they're going to have a quorum. I usually pick them up, you know, that night or the next day because it's been so bumpy with this ride with Tiffany uh, Henyard. But with what happened last night, I think you're going to see some major changes and they may not be for the better because whoever said, yeah, scorched earth for the rest of her, um, her time in office. And remember, she's not just the super, you know, visor of trustees in Thornton. She is the mayor of Dalton. So you've got two pretty good sized entities that have to deal with just her overall shenanigans of just, you know, can't get anywhere on time spending. You've got all these probes going on. You got the FBI looking down her throat. I mean, she's got the eviction thing still, you know, kind of hanging out there. I'm guessing the eviction went away because she's out and I'm guessing they, you know, got access to their home again. But, you know, so many of 49 lawsuits. I mean, the story just keeps on going. I mean, it's just... I'm going to be sad when Tiff Tiff is out of office because you know what? I'm going to, we're going to miss out on a lot of content. It's one of those things where Tiffany Hanyard has been a gold mine because we all sit here and go, what? You're doing what? You said what? Illegal? Uh, okay. She has really, she has really provided some content for us YouTubers that we haven't really had. I mean, I, I can show you content from just knuckleheads in Seattle city council meetings, but it's not like this. I mean, it is not, you know, what you've got going. It's a bunch of blue haired people screaming at the moon about some kind of rights that are being violated. These folks here in Dalton and in Vinton Township of Thornton, they are standing up for what they believe in, which is they've got a rogue supervisor and they've got a rogue mayor and they need her the F out of their lives. And last night was a perfect first step to accomplishing those goals. And from what I know of Napoleon Harris, I mean, he unless he's got some crazy skeletons in his closet, um, I'm, I'm sure he's been vetted somewhat, right? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But those would be my guesses. Now, last night, the Republican Party for Township of Thornton, they had a caucus as well, I believe. Or was it just a meeting? I think like 16 of them got together. Just not a lot of Republicans, right? But the Republicans are, even in these very blue areas, Republicans are having kind of a renaissance because look what happened in that last election and look what is happening here. You've got somebody that is, you know, running on the Democratic Party, Tiff Tiff, that is basically, you know, leaving a poor, poor, poor taste in a lot of her constituents' mouths. Now, you, you do, you've do you got the senior citizens and they're the ones I keep going back to because those are her staunch supporters. But how much longer will they continue to support her? And, and uh, least of all, they are not effective because they are not a big enough number to make this go. And they, you know, they can't get to meetings on time. So just some absolute craziness in um, Township of Thornton. I will try and check in on uh, that meeting tonight. I mean, you might have some absolute nutty stuff coming up because what does Tiffany have to lose? What does Tahoe Tiff what is she, you know, she could lose her Tahoe, but and I think they've already tried to take that away from her. Absolutely insane stuff that shouldn't be happening, but is, and I'm happy to cover it for you here. Thank you so much for being on the live stream. I'm going to cap this one. Everybody on the uh, live chat, thanks for being there. I'll see you on the next one. Who knows? Maybe we live stream tomorrow. Maybe Tiff Tiff does something absolutely nutty. We'll catch up then. Thanks again for being here. Bye for now.